Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying two dimensional shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 14 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Liza drew a figure in the front of her notebook that has two obtuse angles. That's all we know are two obtuse angles. So let's make sure that we've got our angles down. So we're going to start not with an obtuse angle, but we're going to start with a right angle. So a right angle is a perpendicular lines here, and it is... 90 degrees. So sometimes we'll refer to it as a 90 degree angle because that's its measurement. We measure angles with degrees or sometimes we'll just call it a square corner because it's what you would expect on the corner of a square or a rectangle. It's got one line that goes straight up and down, one line that goes side to side. That is a right angle and usually you get a little square put inside there. So our acute angle here is simply going to be less than 90. So any, any angle that is less than our right angle, than our 90 degrees, is going to be acute. So it could kind of look like this. It could even be kind of close to 90 like this. But it's going to be less than 90. It can even be like almost barely not even an angle. And then we've got this obtuse. So that's really what we're looking for. We're looking for something that has two obtuse angles, and those are greater than 90. So they're going to be kind of larger than 90, and look how big that is. And it could be all the way up to almost a, a straight angle, not quite a straight angle, or it could just be just a little bit above a 90 degree. So those are our angles, acute and obtuse, and everything is in relation to this right angle. Is it equal to 90? Is it greater than 90, or is it less than this 90 degree square corner? So let's draw some of these. So let's draw a rectangle. Let's see what we can do. So we'll draw our rectangle as neatly as we can. So we can make it skinny up and down. We can make it skinny side to side. But either way, you know what? These rectangles, no matter how you draw a rectangle, guess what it has? Four right angles, four square corners. That's actually one of the things that makes a rectangle a rectangle. It is a parallelogram that has four right angles. So there's no way a rectangle can have obtuse angles that are larger than 90. The second you put an obtuse angle in there, it is not a rectangle. So we've got an obtuse, that sounds promising, triangle. Hmm. Well, let's draw an obtuse triangle. So I'm going to draw... There we go. There's my obtuse angle. So I've got one obtuse angle. But you know what? It doesn't matter how, maybe if I don't make it so big. So there's my obtuse angle, just barely above 90. Hmm. You know, no matter how many ways I draw this, it's going to have only one obtuse angle, and the other two are tiny. They've got to be. There's only so many degrees in a triangle two acute angles so it's actually not even this obtuse uh, let's do a parallelogram all right parallelogram can be many different things a rectangle is a type of parallelogram but when i think of a parallelogram i think of something like this Something along those lines, and, you know, sometimes they're a little bit longer and skinnier, kind of like this. Usually they've got some slanted lines. And take a look right here. Yeah, those two are obtuse. I've got two obtuse angles right there, even right here on this little one. I've got two obtuse. So that could be the other two are going to be acute. Let's check that last one, a right triangle. Well, that's not going to work. I can tell you that right now because a right triangle has got one right angle. And then the other two are acute. So I'm really needing this parallelogram. My answer here is H.